so this is our, our tentative plan for development of, of the phase one area. So as you can see from the small <coughs> dots, it will show all of the well locations. Um, all of those well locations will be connected with green lines to the red pins, <coughs> which will represent manifolds. Uh, manifolds will go from, uh, we'll connect, but I'm sorry, the trunk lines will connect the manifolds to the central processing facility, represented by that white square. Central processing facility is then connected to the Lobos pipeline, which is the purple line on the graph. Uh, phase one development is uh, 45 square miles, uh, approximately 78 well locations. Okay, so from the processing facility, uh, we'll have a new pipeline uh, which will transport the CO2 from the new processing facility to our existing Cortez pipeline. Uh, that's approximately 220 miles, a portion of which is in Arizona. The majority of the pipeline will be in New Mexico. Okay, so um, we have, uh, as Corey mentioned, two plans, uh, two phases plan for development. Uh, beginning in 2019, we're expecting to um, begin developing phase two in order to maintain the 300 million standard cubic feet per day production that we have planned. Um, that um, second phase of development is approximately 27 square miles uh, and approximately the same number of wells. Again, you'll see how the wells are connected to the manifolds and the red pins, and then all the orange lines will be the trunk lines for the gathering system. That'll all bring the CO2 to um, the uh, central processing facility, uh, which will not change based on phase two development. We'll just be adding uh, gas to, uh, to maintain the, the uh, plant and production rate. Okay, so um, project timing, um, we plan to um, uh, drill and complete wells in uh, 2014, plug and abandon. Uh, we're going to start working on some main access roads uh, to get to the facility so that we can start doing some site prep for the processing facility. Uh, we're, we're in the process of doing permitting, uh, and then we're going to plan to begin pipeline construction in 2015 with a startup, plant startup date of uh, mid-2016. transaction severance taxes paid will be $64 million. The Apache County and Laura tax will be approximately $11 million. And we'll have employment that will start ramping up later on in 2014 at a current level of around 40, peaking out in late 2015 to a level of about 350. And then once we're in operations mode, we will retain about 15 full-time staff in the area. So once again, thank you for inviting us. We're happy to field any questions or comments that you might have. Okay, board members, any questions? Very good presentation, thank you, and it answered several of my questions. Uh, I'll try not to bounce around too much. The, uh, I found your 
photo is kind of interesting. They weren't very attractive to me, but I'm looking at fractured materials under the earth. I, I think one of the questions that the public might want a little bit of discussion on, uh, since you're talking about fractures and probably more fractures help the transfer of your product into your into your wells, uh, will you be doing fracking? And uh, would you just briefly discuss that for us? Sure. Um, so because the, the reservoir is naturally fractured, we will not be doing additional fracturing. It's unlikely that it would help because what happens if you try to do that in a naturally fractured network is all your energy goes into the existing cracks. So right now what we're planning to do is just an open hole, natural completion, if you will. Great, thank you. Mr. Chairman? Sure. Yeah. Uh, on the permitting process, you say it's kind of a little word that talks about a lot of different issues. Uh, are you permitting for the whole phase one, phase two environmentally at this time? And then you would only be dealing with the minimal permitting per unit as you put them in? Uh, what do you mean by your in permitting process and, and kind of describe your success ratio with the current environmental uh, picture from our federal government? Okay, so I can speak to the permits that we got for the subsurface team, which is primarily wells and access roads to the wells, and Barry can talk about the other permits. Um, the primary permits that we require are surface use permits from the Arizona State Land Department, and that involves an archaeolog archaeological survey um, to make sure that well, there's, a, there's not a site with significant um, you know, our remains. Um, and then we also get a drilling permit from the Arizona Oil and Gas Commission. Um, to date, we've been getting those on a one-off basis, but uh, the hope is that Barry and I can start coordinating for larger areas. So, for example, you saw the manifolds that service four or six wells. If we could do all of that in one surface use permit, that also helps the load on the state because they're not having to do so many reviews. Um, to answer your question, are we doing all of phase one and all of phase two together? It, it doesn't exactly work quite like that. Um, you know, the, the, the permits that Barry could talk about uh, might be a little bit more continuous than ours, which are kind of point spots in that. The permits required for our water disposal wells, there are two. One is from the EPA, and the other is from the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality. And so um, we have not started to, we, we haven't issued our permits for that because there's quite a lot of pre-work that has to be done in order to get to that stage. Um, so we're early stages there. Very good. I to speak to you. Yeah, so um, what Corey covered is, is very similar for the surface facilities. Um, so uh, you know, we've, we've been working on getting board approval for the project and we have three So now that we have that, there's a couple of um, uh, items that we need to get started on um, soon. And so we, we've gone out and we're working on the surface use. Specifically, a water well, and to do some geotechnical work. And then as we move forward, we'll try to lump bigger pieces. Um, things are a little easier for the surface facilities than they are for drilling, maybe, because the, the gathering system should be fairly fixed, and the location of the central processing facility should be fairly fixed. Um, and so we're working on the surveying work for those surface use plans now. Um, and so um, we'll submit those soon. And then as we move forward, I think, like Corey said, we'll, we have um, the objective to try to combine things to ease the load on the state. Um, for us, primarily, uh, on the state land is, is the lead permitting agency. And so we'll be using their service use plan for our facility. Okay, I have a question here. <clears throat> you mentioned that um, in 2013, 15 million was paid to the state, and 1.5 million was to Apache County. Has it been received, or has it been paid, or just? Uh, those are numbers that came from our tax department, in which they uh, said that those were that. So I. Okay. Okay. Hey, Mr. Chairman, those, those did come in spread throughout our districts uh, through property taxes. That, that money did come in. Okay. Okay. 